The following program is a production of Pioneer Public Television. Your Legislators is made possible in part by the generous financial support of Southern Minnesota Beet Sugar Cooperative, a highly sustainable shareholder-driven cooperative that safely produces, processes, and markets sugar while being environmental stewards to ensure future opportunities for its shareholders, employees, and surrounding communities. Additional support by MAEP members, making Minnesota clean waters, safe communities, quality education, and veterans care happen. We work hard for Minnesotans. And by Ask Me Council 5, a union of 43,000 members who advocate for excellence in public services, dignity in the workplace, and opportunity and prosperity for all working families. Live from St. Paul, we welcome you to another session of Your Legislators, a roundtable discussion featuring state lawmakers answering your questions and discussing important issues affecting the citizens of Minnesota. Join the conversation online on Twitter and Facebook. Now here's your moderator for tonight's program, Barry Anderson. Good evening and welcome to your legislators. We're delighted that you could join us for this extended conversation about public policy issues that affect all Minnesotans. Now look, your NCAA bracket is already busted. Your time is better spent with us. And we're hoping that you'll enjoy that extended conversation. This is, of course, your program, and we invite you to call in with your questions or send them to us uh, via email, uh, fax, uh, Twitter, Facebook Live, probably half a dozen other electronic means of communication that I neither understand nor could repeat. But it'll all appear there on your television screen, and follow those instructions, and we'll see that the questions get to our distinguished panel of guests. Speaking of which, we have a veteran panel this evening, people who've been with us on numerous occasions and are here with us again tonight to answer your questions about those public policy issues I referenced earlier. So let's get right to the introductions. Beginning to my immediate left from District 66A, St. Paul, Representative Alice Hausman. Representative Hausman, delighted to have you with us again this evening. Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Well, I uh, live in St. Paul and represent a little bit of St. Paul, uh, the neighborhoods of uh, parts of St. Anthony Park and Como Park, but mostly I'm a suburban legislator now in the cities of Falcon Heights, Lauderdale and most of Roseville. If you've been to the State Fair, you've been in my district. So if the mini donuts, mini do donuts aren't any good, call it's you. It's my fault. Yeah, exactly. All right, very good. Um, Senator uh, Sandra Pappas from District 65 in St. Paul, another frequent guest. Uh, we're delighted to have you with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Well, I live in downtown St. Paul, so I represent downtown. I represent the capital and neighborhoods to the north, to the, south, to the west, and to the south. And I've been in the legislature for a very long time. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about the committees you're on, things of that sort. Well, I'm the lead on the Capital Investment Committee. So that's a big deal this year because that's our big, what we call our bonding bill, where we hope to spend you know, north of a billion dollars on infrastructure projects around the state. And then I'm also on the Judiciary Committee. So that's where we do uh, public safety and criminal justice. And then uh, my third major assignment is the Pensions Commission. And we are about to pass an omnibus pensions bill which will, uh, for, our, for our public employees. Representative Hausman, I forgot to ask you, what, what committees do you serve on? Uh, like I'm also sort? on the Capital Investment Committee and uh, Transportation Finance. So I do all infra uh, only infrastructure. That's what I spend my life doing, building stuff. And then the Ways and Means Committee, and then uh, Capital Restoration Commission, as we, where we've spent a good bit of time the last few years. If you haven't had uh, to our viewers, if you haven't had a chance to see the remodeled, uh, restored Capital, I really should say not remodeled so much as it is restored. You should make that trip yes. because it's well worth it. Finally, uh, from uh, District 16B in Hanska, Representative Paul Torkelson. Representative Torkelson. Delighted to have you with us. Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Well, good evening. Very happy to be here tonight. Uh, I serve in 16B, as you mentioned, which is all of Brown County, a uh, big portion of Redwood County, and I actually have a couple of townships in Renville County. It looks kind of like the state of Minnesota. I have a little chimney on top of my yeah. district. <laughs> so uh, I happen to serve currently as the chair of the Transportation Finance Committee, uh, where Alice is a member. I also serve on the Environment and Natural Resources Committee, where I've served for a long time, Ways and Means and Ethics. 
I also serve on the Capital Restoration Commission, uh, and that project, as you mentioned, turned out very nicely. If you haven't seen the Capitol, you should see it soon. I also serve on the Clean Water Council, the Legislative Water Commission that I co-chair, and the Great Lakes Commission, so lots of water mm -hmm. and transportation. And environmental issues. Absolutely. So, all right, so let's, to, I just had a thought, before we get to some of the questions from our <coughs> viewers, and we do have a few here to get to, but um, since the restoration project is finished, and we had the big uh, grand opening, so to speak, this past August, is there really anything for the Capital Restoration Commission to do? Well, interesting, we talked about that at our last meeting, and one of the questions we had is, who's going to assure that this building doesn't deteriorate to this extent again? Who, mm -hmm. who has the maintenance plan? And so I think there's a general agreement, I don't know if it was a firm decision, that perhaps we should be ongoing and mm -hmm. that uh, admin, a couple of the departments should be, be reporting to us at least once a year to say what's the plan? How do we take care of this building uh, so that it doesn't fall into disrepair? I don't know if that was kind I, of the sense you... I didn't make it to that meeting, oh. but I think that's absolutely appropriate. Uh, it's still a hundred year old yeah. plus building mm -hmm. and even though we did a great job of restoration, it's still, uh, still going to have issues going forward. Um, as everyone knows, the artwork was kind of controversial yes, right. and make, you know, there'll be ongoing issues as to what's displayed in the Capitol. I think we need to kind of beware mm -hmm. of doing some of the bad things that happened in the past as far as adding in offices mm -hmm. or dropping ceilings, mm -hmm. anything like that. So I believe it's important that we continue to do that work and, uh, and legislators should be involved. I was actually at that meeting as well. I'm a newbie on the commission, but uh, because I'm the minority lead on the Capital Investment Committee, I got a I got suddenly appointed 